Hello everybody and welcome back to one of our most requested videos and that is on Essentials Mode. Now, please note, we are going to have multiple videos over the next few months, probably, on different types of resources. Some for Essentials Mode and then some for ESX2. Please note, these are different frameworks, so just keep that in mind when you're looking at resources and stuff. This tutorial today will just be going over Essentials Mode base install type thing. We will have a tutorial in the future on ESX2, which is a separate base that kind of is like Essentials Mode, but separate. They're two different things, so keep that in mind. But we're going to have videos for both of them here on the channel very soon. So I just wanted to make that clear before everybody starts commenting in the comments, where's ESX? What about this? What does this work with this? Please note, they are different frameworks. We're going to be going over both of them in the next few weeks. This is just the first video on it. Please keep that in mind. I'm also going to be expecting that you already have your 5M server installed, and if you want to do the MySQL part of this tutorial, you already have your MySQL database installed. Please keep in mind, if you don't have this, I recommend watching our 5M slash 5PD setup. Just if you don't want to use 5PD, just watch the 5M part of the setup. All of it's in timestamps and description, so it shouldn't be that hard. It also goes over how to install databases and stuff. So keep that in mind if you are just trying to install it with a database we're just going over how to set it up completely we're not going to be going over how to install the server or the database in this tutorial so make sure to stay tuned for that also another thing i did want to mention is some resources will not run alongside of essentials mode you have to keep this in mind when you are using your server and stuff i highly recommend you just create an essentials mode server completely separate from your normal server that is my personal opinion, um, especially if you're using 5PD, there is been reports of problems with them going together. Just don't even try it. Make Essentials Mode one server, make 5PD another resource in another. That's just how to do it in my opinion, but obviously you can try what you want to try. Um, but yes, let's get straight into it. So, the first thing we're going to need to know is we're going to have to download Essentials Mode. So we're going to click on the download button here. It will take you over to GitHub and you're just going to download the latest source code of this. This will open up in a zip file and you're going to open this with WinZip, 7-Zip, or whatever you're going to use. I did want to quickly go over a little bit about the documentation, which does go over everything you need to understand on how to install it. So if you're having problems, going here is the best way to do it. Please also note, they don't do support, they give they give support for Patreon supporters, they also, they don't really give support unless you're asking on the forums, so don't ask in the comments, don't go on ask on the discords or anything, go ask on the forums or become a patron for them and get personalized support, otherwise it's kind of community support if that makes sense. Um, so it's a framework for other 5M resources. Um, it's the most used 5M resource framework, etc, etc, but you're going to go in and click installation over here and it's going to tell you exactly what to do for each step. We're going to be going over this in the video, but keep in mind this is a place to go if you have questions or you don't know what's happening, this is the place to go. We will also be adding on the Essentials Mode um, Admin, ESS Admin 2, we will also be installing that alongside, so keep that in mind, that will be later in the video. But overall, first thing to do is go ahead and download Essentials Mode, so we've gone ahead and done that, we've opened it with 7-Zip and we're winning are in this case and inside of here you can see there's a bunch of stuff don't get too overwhelmed do not get too overwhelmed yet we're just starting so i'm going to go ahead and get into our server dash data folder all right so we've opened up our server data folder we're going to go into our resources folder and we're going to right click click new and make a new folder and we're going to name this essentials mode so or we're just going to type essentials or essential mode my mistake, essential mode. And then inside of here, we're just going to drag all of the files which we just downloaded into this folder. There we go. That's all you have to do to start. Now, we actually have to start the folder in our 5M server files. So, we're going to exit out of that. We're going to copy the name of the folder, or you can just remember the name of it, whatever you want. Go back to your server data folder, go to your server.cfg file, and edit it with Notepad++. Then at the top of this file, you're just going to add ensure or start, depending on whatever you use in your server files. Ensure, essentials mode, or essential mode, whatever you want to name it um, in there. I would recommend naming it Essential Mode because that's what's recommended on the documentation and I don't know if there's any issues if you don't name it exactly this folder name, just highly recommend doing that. But now we're going to actually add a few spaces at the top of this file and this is where we're actually going to add those things we saw in the installation. So these are the three things we're going to have to add from the installation. I will leave a link to the installation down in the description as well so you can just copy these in and you're going to paste them at the top of this file above everything else. Now please note, in here, you may want to just add a little bit of a note in between here and you can do that by adding a hashtag symbol is any essentials mode um, type things so any essentials mode 
resources below here. Do not start any resources above here that aren't for Essentials Mode. So keep that in mind. Any Essentials Mode resources now need to be started underneath where you say Essentials Mode. Keep that in mind because that will not work if you, um, like it will break things if you start resources before the framework. Uh, so keep that in mind and just keep that there. Please note that. That's been a problem a lot of people have brought up in the past. Just keep that there. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our database. Now, they have a database step here, and it goes over everything you need to know about how to install a database and getting it working. So I really recommend reading this if you haven't already. But anyway, what you're going to have to do is you're both going to need the ES plugin and MySQL async. This is for Essentials Mode. Now, I would recommend installing My MySQL async before installing the ES plugin. So we're going to do that first. You're going to click on the MySQL async, and it will take you to this MySQL async GitHub page. There's two things we're going to need here. The first thing is this little download button here where it says releases. Click on that and just download their latest releases of source code and open it up in your uh, WinRAR once again or 7-zip or WinZip, whatever you use. And inside of here, you can see there's a bunch of stuff. We'll go over that in a moment. Don't get freaked out yet. Then we're going to go back and we're just going to click where it says documentation. This is going to help you install the resource. This is where you can either install MySQL if you don't already have it. We already have it, so I'm just going to click next. And this is where it's going to tell you how to download the resource itself. So it says you're going to need the data. Once you've installed a database, you're going to have to add the resource to the server. To do this, download the source code we just did, then extract the contents to their Slack resources folder and rename the folder MySQL async. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to go into our server data once again, go into our resources folder, right click, and we're going to name it exactly what it says here, MySQL async. Just like that. Then inside of here, we're going to drag everything we have from our WinRAR and WinZip once again into here. Just like that, we've transferred all the files in. We're good. Now, if we continue through the documentation, click Next. We are now going to figure out how we can set this up. Now, this is, I really love how they have this online configure thing. It's really, really cool. Um, so keep in mind that they have this and you can completely use this to your liking as well. Um, it will ask you what log levels you want, all of that good stuff. Then you fill out your database info. So we're going to add the host here. Localhost is a host name. We're going to add our username, which is root. And we also want to add a password because we do have technically a password. In my case, the password is password. That's just my password for my local host. Um, if you watched our PHP My Admin setup and everything, you probably created a username and password. If not, your username is probably root and your password is probably blank. That's the default. Um, I changed mine because I was using different settings on videos before, but that is probably your local thing. Then you're going to also type your database name. Database name will be essential mode. It will have to be that rather than what I type right now. I will correct that later on in the video, but it should be essential mode. Keep that in mind for the video. All right. So this is where we're going to actually add at the top of the file again. So back at the top of the file, we're just going to add set MySQL and I'm actually going to add it above these other resources here all the way at the top, set MySQL string root database is EX password is password for me. Then we're going to add the actual other thing it states, which is ensure MySQL sync. We're going to add that below here and we're going to go in and start that. And we are good to go. We have installed it successfully. Now, please note. Um, oh, actually, it's best above all the insure sure lines. So we're going to actually add this at the top. So always read the documentation. This is what I'm talking about. I've run through this video like four times making sure I knew what to do. And I still missed that. So make sure you read through the documentation because that's a really good example of what you should do. Congratulations, you have successfully set up MySQL async to work with your server. So that is going to be our database name and username. So keep that in mind. The other thing we're going to need to get, obviously, is the ES plugin for MySQL. So we're going to download this. Um, download it. There we go. Downloaded. Go ahead and open this. And then inside of here, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and drag this in just like we have before. But you see in here, there's actually a .sql file. And this is where we're going to drag it into our PHP My Admin setup. And we'll do that in a moment. But let's first install the server. So we're going to go into our server data folder resources once again. Now we're actually going to name the folder. And this time we're just going to name it um, yes plugin underscore MySQL. So we can actually just drag this in. Um, and we're just going to rename and delete that last little part that says dash master because that's from GitHub and we are good to go. Inside of here, you can see you have the SQL file. We're going to use that momentarily, but first we're going to go back to our resources, server data folder, server.cfg, and we're just going to add all the way at the bottom. Remember, below where it says ensure essential mode, we're going to ensure, and then this time it's ES plugin, just like it says there, underscore MySQL. 
go ahead and save. So we have it successfully installed this plugin as well. But now we actually have to set up the database. So I'm going to go ahead and get into phpMyAdmin, and I'll be right back. Now that we're in phpMyAdmin, we're actually going to fix the thing I messed up on earlier, and we're going to go ahead and click databases at the top of the screen, and then we're going to go ahead and enter the name of the database, which is exactly essential mode. Make sure it's exactly that, otherwise it will not work correctly. So type essential mode, click create, and then go ahead and enter that database. Then you'll drag that .sql file in from earlier. Some PHP admins let you drag it in, some don't. It just depends on what your server configuration is. So keep that in mind. But now you can see we have the user table. We got the identifier, license, money, bank, permission level, group. We're all good there. So we got everything we needed to get in here. So we got that loaded in and good. So keep that in mind. Now that we have that loading in good, we're going to go back to our server data folder. And inside of our server data folder, we're going to open up our server.cfg file once again, and we're going to fix this. So back at the top here, you can see our database is EX. We're going to change this. We're going to make it uh, database essential mode because that's what we changed it. And make sure you spell essential mode right just to make sure I'm going to do that right. I'm just going to paste it in. And you can see we've now installed that correctly. So make sure your database name matches essential mode. I did forget about that earlier in the video. I do apologize, but you're good to go there. Now that we have MySQL installed, you can see back over on the documentation. Um, now we're going to start all of the other essential modes add-ons below these three. So we're going to start them all below these three. Um, keep that in mind, but you can see add the following under your server configuration file. Um, so we're going to have to add this and that's going to be strictly under the MySQL configuration stream. So we're just going to take this, go underneath that MySQL connection string, paste that in, save. We're good to go there now. All right, so once you've had this set ES enable custom data, if we take a look over at our database setup here, we are done. There's nothing else you have to do anything differently. So you want to make sure MySQL async loads first. We put this at the top just to make, make it match everything else. We'll put this right above the essentials mode here. And we're going to move our little comment here so they're all exactly matching what they say here. So load MySQL async, load essentials mode, load MySQL for essentials mode. We're good to go on that now. If you want your admin system, it's pretty easy to download and install this. It's for player administration, setting the player role, groups, automatically changing everything, teleporting, banning, all that good stuff. We can install that as well. And you just go to the download folder here and it's just gonna go ahead and make sure you don't click back and you actually click the link. <laughs> um, then you get in here and obviously hint, rename it to ESX2 admin to, to make the GUI work. So just download the code, download the zip file, We'll go ahead and get one of these files again. Go back into your server data resources folder. Obviously, we're just going to do the exact same thing we just did, just dragging in the folders. But this time, we're just going to right-click new folder, es underscore admin2. Make sure it's exactly that, obviously, from here, or it will not work. Then inside this folder, we're just going to go ahead and drag in all of the things like we normally do. And then back in our server.cfg file, we're going to add ensure and then es underscore admin2. We're good to go there. So you can see we have put that in here. Now, please note, this is below everything else. That's the order it's supposed to go in. So make sure you continue using this order depending on what you're adding to your Essentials Mode server. All right, we are good now. We are <laughs> have installed everything that needs to be installed. As long as our database and everything else work, we are good to go. So let's start up our server and let's see if everything's loaded in correctly. And there we go. So you can see everything is loaded up correctly. Essentials mode has connected to the database. Database connection established. We're good to go. So we have successfully installed it. Let me launch 5M. Let's get in and let's check it out. All right. So I've gotten into the game here. And you can see if I type slash ban, it says, make sure you spell ban correctly. Incorrect player ID, obviously, because I um, am just a brand new player in. And I don't have any other players on the line to try to ban or anything. But we have successfully installed it. We've installed the base of essential mode. Now, you can add as many resources that support essential mode on top of this, depending on whatever you use. So if you want one for role playing, add ESX or something. Um, obviously, ESX1 is on top of essentials mode, but ESX2 is separate. So keep that in mind. Um, if you have questions regarding that, asking the authors are the best place to go. Hopefully, I will have the ESX tutorial also out next week. Just depends on how busy I get, but overall, this is how you install it. You got the base installed, you got your database is good. If you want to learn how to install PHP My Admin, our tutorial will be linked down in the description. Hopefully this did satisfy everybody's needs for essential mode. I do apologize I wasn't able to go over like the full install of the database and the server again. I kind of wanted to keep this video just for essential mode and then next week's for ESX2 and go from there. But overall, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you want other tutorials on uh, essentials mode resources, let me know. Coming very soon. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.